Hello and welcome everyone, I am Maddles and welcome to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got a best of one game, it is between Snoot, the Red Zerg player in the top right, of course now on Team Liquid, who is up against Wellmu, who is now on Eurosoft. So neither of these players' clan tags are correct, and as a result, we're going to have to completely ignore them for the rest of this game. We do have though a ZVP in front of us, it's on Cloud Kingdom, and it should be absolutely brilliant fun. I can't wait to see what these two are going to do. Snoot has had some great results recently in tournament. He's been doing well. He's been laddering well. Wellmu as well though. Been Grandmaster. Rank 1 in EU for a long, long time. And really been putting on consistent efforts all through things like the Zotac Cup monthly tournaments. Through go for sc 2 All of those sort of online events. He's been really dominating them. So... All in all, these two should be quite evenly matched. If I had to put my finger on who's going to take it, I'd probably say Snoop will, just due to how well he's been playing at some of the LAN events, specifically things like Home Story Cup. So, we'll wait and see, but it could go either way, that's for sure. Now, in terms of build orders, well, we're straight away chucking down that pylon. That pylon is mainly there to allow either a Nexus first or a Forge first. A gateway is possible, but usually... One gate expansions come out in the main base, it's a little bit safer and allows you to put on a bit of aggression into build I personally think can be really really good. Snoot straight away does not want that probe in there but this is one lucky probe. He gets out of there straight away, Snoot chucking down the spawning pool, it's a 15 spawning pool. It'll go into a quick hatchery into a third base at about 4, 4 minutes 20 so those are all normal timings from both of them. This probe is being absolutely relentless though. He is just pushing his luck so much. Taking a little bit of damage here and there. Got surrounded by drones and still got away. It is the little drone that could. Of course, now Wellmu though, throwing down the Nexus first. Feels very comfortable on this map to do so. Because it's quite a big map. And all in all, the Warlock's quite comfortable to get down. The probe is still getting good information. You can see this little patrol move. Ready to see when the drone is pulled. In order to come and try and block it off at the natural. However, Snoot. Not to fall for any of that hatchery blocking, knowing he's got to get his third base down instead. He just chucks down the third base first, and he'll come and get his natural after two Zerglings most likely do pop. But Snoot for the moment not grabbing those two Zerglings. He'll probably grab them fairly soon, though, just instead of actually choosing to go purely for drones. He's not apparently considering Zerglings useful at all in the slightest, which means he will be unable to get out that third hatchery slightly sooner. Here now finally come those two Zerglings as he's nearing the point that he wants to go and take this. So he wants to go and move the probe out, make sure he can comfortably secure his natural base at around the 4 minute mark. The drone now on its way down and it may even come out slightly before 4 minutes which really is a bold spot. So there, 3.59, that is pretty much the earliest you're ever going to be able to get down that hatchery. So all in all for Wellmu, we do have the forge down, the Nexus coming to a finish, the gateway nearly done as well as the photon cannon, the wall off really nice and solid. Of course, Wellmu gonna be very confident that Snoot is not applying early aggression. He's seen all these hatcheries. Now we're just gonna spot the natural, making sure it's there as expected, and as a result, is safe. Once you see those three hatcheries down, it's really safe to assume that hey, the Zerg player is gonna drone and drone and drone. Meanwhile, Wellmu getting up his cybernetics core. He's got his first two gas already mining away quite happily, and. He's got different options available to him, and this is what this Overlord is checking for, to see really what's the next bit of teching going to be after this cyber call finishes. Are you going to get down a Stargate? Are you going to get down a robotics facility? Are you just going to chuck down between five and eight gateways and come and rush me with that? Those are the big things. The other thing you need to be checking as a Zerg player in this situation is, where's the third base? When is the third base? Of course, what we're seeing in Heart of the Swarm a lot at the moment is that Protoss players are able to use the Mothership Core to secure this third base exceptionally quickly. And the one thing that Snood is doing that I personally think is great is just keeping these Zerglings here because even though the Zealot's pushing forward to come and take them out, you know exactly when it's coming and what is coming. And wow, as we can see, Stargate out of Wellmu. The reason I thought Stargate might be in play is because you can get some nice harassments going on between the third and main, as well as coming straight into the natural behind this dead space. So Phoenix, very, very likely in this situation. I doubt we'll see a Void Ray. Instead, Wellmu will just put on some pressure with the Phoenix, probably get around about four out, pick off some drones, try and pick off a queen or two, and clear the map of Overlords will be the best thing. And from there, he should be really pretty confident moving on. The first three gas are on their way, so Snoot 
getting those down at very, very normal times. I mean, it was around the 50-ish supply mark. I didn't check exactly, but anywhere between 40 and 50 supply is great. Generally, if you're close to the 40 side, you get two. If you're close to the 50 side, you get three to four down ASAP. As we can see, these overlords are moving across the map. The Zeller will spot them with the watchtower, hopefully, and at which point, oh, just out of view, actually, so not quite on the edge. But, of course, once these Phoenix start coming out, which are rallied straight away to come and kill this overlord, we will see a reaction out of Snoop, hopefully, either getting a couple of queen, more queens out or chucking down a spore crawler at each base. Otherwise, he could potentially take quite a few losses. Behind this, though, Wellmu is getting up his level 1 ground weapons. He's getting up his robotic facility. So gearing up to be in a position where he can either take his third base or if he doesn't feel like doing that and rather pushing on two bases, he can get out some immortals, he can put on some more pressure. But three additional gateways now coming down, now taking up to fourth gates. The warp gates tech nearly done. Of course, three Phoenix are now out, so that is great news. And what Snoot's doing with these Zerglings is really trying to get a feel for what his opponent's doing. He should be able to guess straight away by the fact that there's only two sentries there that something isn't quite right. Seeing only those two sentries says, hang on, where's the rest of my gas going? And with a great read straight away, I don't even think the Phoenix have been spotted yet, Snoop throws down these spore crawlers and is able to deduce from all of the information available to him that with that, with so few sentries, it seems very probable that it's either going to be Stargate or the gas is going somewhere else. And it could be through DTs is a vague possibility, but much more likely these Phoenix are coming across. So they should get spotted by this Zergling if it is a lucky little Zergling. And um, will it be? No. Yep, it does. It catches one Phoenix. But of course, it doesn't matter because the Spore Callers are already down. Snoop getting his infestation pit behind this. The Phoenix will manage to snipe off this Queen. And in this situation, you want to make sure the Queen is as close to the Spore Crawler as you can manage because otherwise that can happen. But all in all, Wellmu, he's invested quite a bit in getting these Phoenix down. But look at this, a massive Zergling push coming into the third base. Quite a few sentries there, but the force fields, unfortunately, a little bit late, allowing a few in. This nice wall of position, though, does mean that the sentries are going to be able to deal with it relatively effectively. Another wave of warp in should be queued up, ready to go fairly soon. There we go, some more zealots on their way. Some more force fields go down, trapping a lot of the zerglings. The zerglings able to get us around on the zealots for the moment. Still trying to get and pick off this gateway, because if they do manage to do so, that reduces the wall of space, but some more force fields are thrown in. Roaches now coming down, though, applying more pressure. This third base desperately wants to go down for Wellmu, and Wellmu will do his utmost in order to defend it. Some lifts coming down on the Roaches to reduce the numbers, and now with that Immortal out, the Roaches are suddenly a lot less scary to the Protoss player. He's able to do great damage, but the Zerglings are the threat to that Immortal. The energy on the Sentry is getting a lot lower. A Force will try to hit the last moment, but Snoop focusing down the Immortal. Absolutely fantastic play there. He is still playing pressure so so relentlessly, but Wellmu has now got enough units out in order to hold this. With the cannon there as well, he's able to secure this third base, and that puts him in such an amazing spot. As we can see, Snoot invested an awful lot in order to get those units out. Still, only at 60 workers, and that's after a few more have already popped. He's grabbing his fourth base because he needs to stay a base up, but Wellmu, sitting there at equal work account, is going to be great for him. He's got the tech to start producing his Colossus. We see the first one just entering the field of battle now. And as a result, Snoot, he's got to catch up a little bit. He needs to think, what am I going to do? That aggression didn't achieve everything I wanted. These Phoenix yet again coming in, but with the Infestor there, the fungal growth can start going down repeatedly. Might as well try and kill the Queen before the Phoenix get killed, because they are definitely going to die. Getting the Queen is going to be a big win, though, for Wellmu, because it reduces the production. But still, more fungal growth going down. Two of these Phoenix, three of the Phoenix, rather, do get shut out. The other one on very low health, so won't be too much more of a threat. Behind this, we do have for Wellmu the Twilight Council, so that's just getting ready to get Blink out to also get the 2-2 upgrade started. No second forge yet, just a lot more gateways being added on. And that is because Wellmu has a very small gateway force for the time being. And this third Nexus is going to allow his income to skyrocket and he's got to spend that somehow. So that's why he's getting down those additional gateway now. We do have the fourth base though for Snoot, that's great for him, he's going to be able to start producing a lot more. Still staying relatively low on the work account though, and that's important to note. And the reason that work account is low is just because of how much stuff Snoot's got at the moment. A good number of investors, their energy slowly climbing, also a lot of roaches and speedlings, so perhaps going to try and grab Wellmu before he rams up his production too much, where it seems like Wellmu is going to be in a weaker position, but as far as we can see, 
Snoop, not comfortable engaging there, sees the two Colossi and is not going to try and push forward anymore. Hive is nearly, well, it's just over half done. We've got the Spire on its way as well, somewhere. There we go. Spires are ridiculously hard to spot. And that means Broodlords, they're going to be coming out. We've got the one, two upgrades. So I'd say Snoop behind in the upgrade count at the moment. And as a result, Wilmu has got a very scary army to deal with. The plus two ground weapons coming out for the Protoss player, as well as Blink nearly finished up as well. We can see that the Chrono Boots, I'm trying to find out where the Chrono Boots are actually being spent. On Blink, there we go, and also on the upgrade. So just where I was expecting them, they just were between Chrono Boots there. But, well, Snoop. He's got to defend this push, and this is a very scary push for him to try and deal with. And as we can see, not panic, but reactionary building, a lot of spine crawlers ready to try and hold this off. Some stalkers coming forward, trying to pick off the infestors, and with only so few stalkers there, the fungal growth would not have been that efficient. The rest of these infestors are a bit back. We should see some fungal start hitting now, though. And there we go, some going through. The spine crawlers trying to do some damage, and where is all of Snoot's army? Well, the answer is, it is just nowhere to be seen. It is attacking down at the third base, trying to do some counter-aggression, but as we can see, Wellmu with just so many units on the field, the Infested trying to buy some more time, trying to get some good fungus off. Wellmu has lost his third base, though. The counter-attack from Snoop Throaches doing some good damage, but look at this warping. A lot of units there, a lot of stuff ready to defend, whereas the stuff to defend for Snoop is nowhere to be seen. He is trying to resupply. Drones getting pulled from the supply line, but of course that means lack of production. This third base is taking massive amounts of damage. Wellmu does still just have the supply advantage. Some reinforced roaches on their way in. But importantly, all three of these colossi are still out. They're going to be able to do an awful lot of damage here. The stalkers moving back, making sure that everything is safe. We can see that the aggression from Snoot has been taken out. But this is what's really intelligent play out of Snoot. Bringing some reinforcements in, trying to cut off the retreat of this army. But unfortunately for him, Wellmu has got his own reinforcements here and has got a very large supply advantage at the moment. So Snoot is going to have to have some beautiful engagements. Those force fields were good. Doesn't quite manage to trap too many of the units, but as we can see, the Colossi still doing a little bit of force, a little bit of damage on their way through, and GG comes out Snoot, knowing that on only two bases, he is not going to be able to deal with that massive force from Wellmu. So Wellmu showing some really impressive play. Remember everyone, if you did enjoy the cast, subscribe, leave a cool comment, and like the video. But most importantly, I'll catch you all tomorrow for yet another new game. Thank you very much for watching. And bye for now.